Hello and welcome back to the lesson 2 of our school management system development training. Please, in our previous lesson, we look at how to design the home page of our school management system. We look at how to insert the various buttons that can help us to navigate through the various aspects of the school management system. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to create or how to design the about page of our school management system. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel as you wait for more videos on how to develop a school management system from us. So without wasting much time, let's quickly open the folder that we've created during our first lesson. So let's open it like this to see the home page of our school management system. Now, before we dive into this lesson, before we dive into the lesson two, let's do some necessary corrections in the previous lesson before we continue. So let's highlight everything here. Let's highlight everything and change the font style. So let's change the font style here to Times New Roman. Then we give it bold. Then we come to the home tab here to position it at the center here. Let's try to increase the font size a little bit. So we have them there. Let's try and see if we can push some of these buttons up a little bit. So let's drag them to the top a little bit like this using the arrow key. Use the arrow key to drag them up a little bit. Good. So I think we are good to go now. Let's bring them closer to each other a little bit. Like this. I think this one is cool. I think this one is okay. So let's try to push this one to a little bit. And let's come to the top here. Let's do some corrections here. So let's change this one. So the O must come first before the E. So O. So we have it up and running there. Now, let's do another thing here. Let's come to the top here. We want to hide all these cells here. We want to hide all of them. We want our form, the home page of our school management system to look more professional. So let's go to the home tab. Then we select background color as white just to hide those cells there. Now let's come to this side too. Let's go to the home tab and select a background color which is supposed to be white. Now let's come to this side. Then you press Ctrl Shift then the forward arrow key. So you press Ctrl Shift then the forward arrow key like this. Then you press Ctrl Shift again, then the down arrow key. So let's come to the home tab and give it a white color. Good. So we have something like this. It's, it's very nice. So let's come to the down to We want to hide these ones to the one at the down here too. We hide that one too. So let's go to the home tab and give it a white color. So Ctrl Shift, then the down arrow key. Control shift then the down arrow key. So let's select this one here Control shift the down arrow key. Then we give that one also a white background Oh shit, let's go back again and repeat that action So you 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 highlight everything here like this Control shift then down arrow key. We give it a white color Now let's come to the middle here. We want to hide this one too. We want to hide this particular one too. So let's highlight everything there. Then we go to the home tab and give it a white background color. So our home page is having a good shape now. Our home page is having a good shape. So let's highlight everything here. Let's highlight this whole form here. The whole home page. And let's give it all borders. So let's go to the home page and select all borders. Let's give it all borders. Oh shit. Let's go back. Let's undo this action. So let's go back to the home page and undo the action. So let's go back. Then let's select top and down 
thick border so we have a thick border around it like this so the border color let's try to change the border color so we have the line colors like this so let's give it black i think black would be okay for us so we have something good like that so this is the home page of our school management system we have it here up and running now the next thing that we are going to do is the about page as i said earlier so let's come to the down here click on the plus sign then you double tap to rename it to about page or you name it about so you hit enter on your keyboard then you right click on the about again let's go to color tab and give it a color so which color are we going to use for this one let me select this particular color so as usual we hide this one you right click on it select hide then we come to this one to you right click on it then you select hide now let's begin to set up our about page so you position your cursor here then you drag it to p then you move it to 11 good so let's give it a background color a background color so i think orange will be good for us so let's select this color as our background color so from there let's quickly uh, indicate what this page is going to be used for so let's indicate what the page is going to be used for so this is the about page so about the system so let's name it about the system so we are going to highlight everything here let's select everything here then we do the necessary formatting so let's come to the home tab here then change the font style to times new roman like this then we go back to the home tab again to give it a bold then we increase the font size a little bit so about the system so anybody that logs into our system will be able to know that this is the about page of our system so let's try to change the text color or the font color of this particular page so we have it there nicely we have it up and running we don't have any challenge with this uh, page okay so now let's go back to the home tab again to insert another thing so let's come to this one let's highlight everything here let's highlight everything here so you drag it to 27 you drag it to 27 then you leave it here so let's give the background color of white so let's give the white background color a white background color then let's format it at once the the font size or the font style then everything should be times new roman so you you click on enter then we come to this one let's position it at the middle okay so let's maintain it like this so we have this one also here up and running so this is our about page now let's come to another thing here let's go to test box we are going to insert a test box where we can be able to write everything about our system how the system is supposed to be used the things that we have in the system and a whole lot so let's insert our test box here nicely so this is our test box so let's go and add a thick border around this one too let's add a thick border around this one too so let's come to this one okay okay so let's maintain it like that let's maintain it like that so let's add a button when we come to this button we should when we come to this section sorry when we come to this page of the school management system we should be able to navigate back to the home page so what do we need to do we need to add a button that can help us to move back to the home page of this particular system okay so without wasting much time let's go to insect then let's select shape good so let's left click hold it and drag it good we have something nice like this let's come to format 
and let's click on the drop down here let's select something like this i think we should change the color of this particular button so let's go to shape fill then let's change the color of this particular button to this one let's select this format let's come to shape effect let's come to shape effect and select this particular effect i think this will be good this one will be good for us so let's name it so you right click and edit test so you write home this is going to be our home button so let's highlight everything here then you go to the home tab you change the font style to times new roman then you come to bold then let's try to increase the font size a little bit so we have something like this let's select this one let's center it so we have our home button there nicely now we need to add a hyperlink that can help us to move to the home page of this particular school management system so you right click on it like this let's click on hyperlink then you select a place in this document select a place in this document like this then let's click on home click on home then you come down here and click on ok so when we click on that button it should be able to take us to the home page of this system like this so we have it here up and running so now let's come to this one to the about button here let's add a hyperlink that can be able to send us back to the about page so this one to you right click on the about button like this then you come to hyperlink you click on the hyperlink a place in this document make sure that you tick that one then let's come to about so make sure that you tick the about then you click on ok so when we click on the about button here you should be able to take us to the about home page so thank you very much for watching this lesson thank you very much for watching this video in our next lesson we are going to look at another thing another system another button another section that we can create in the school management system development training okay so we have our buttons up and running here so we have the home button immediately we click on the home button it should be able to send us back to the home page of our school management system when we click on the about button the about button should be able to send us to the about page of this system so thank you very much for watching this video in our next lesson we are going to learn how to create the student emis data table we are going to learn how to create the student emis data form so thank you very much let's meet in that interesting video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like and share this video with your friends don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section below of this video as we wait for that important lesson in our school management system development training. So thank you very much. Let's meet in that interesting lesson. Bye-bye.